For the past month, I've been traveling across the country and along the way I've seen some really amazing sights. It was pretty cold uh, going through the mountains in Colorado in the winter. I think at one point it got well below zero degrees Fahrenheit, but it was uh, just incredible to see the mountains and even the desert landscapes in Utah covered in snow. I even got lucky enough and I got a permit for the wave, which only lets in 10 people per day if you walk in for the permit. So I lucked out there, got to see that finally. But in today's video, I wanted to let you know what I've got planned here for YouTube in 2020 because there's a lot of big things that have been happening behind the scenes and uh, I got a couple big announcements. First, I actually did move to Utah for the next couple months anyway. And the great thing is from my backyard here, I have a clear view of the southern sky. There's maybe two or three houses and then from there it's nothing for probably 100 miles. And that means I've got probably Boreal Class 3, if not Boreal Class 2 uh, skies right from the back porch there. And it's clear probably 90% of the year. So with all that in mind, I'm gonna be able to do a lot more astrophotography. And my goal for the year is to create a full course here on YouTube for free that's gonna show you how to use a dedicated astrophotography camera. So over Christmas, I decided to finally make the leap and I bought the ZWO ASI 1600. This is a monochrome camera, and this is gonna apparently allow you to take much better images of nebula and galaxies at night. We'll find out though if that's true because my goal for this entire course is to focus on an average person getting into astrophotography because I feel like a lot of the content out there is geared towards people who have big telescopes that weigh 30 pounds and giant mounts that probably weigh 70 plus pounds. And that's a big, not only time investment, but space investment. And one thing I wanna do with the course is keep it simple, lightweight, portable, and streamlined. So with that in mind, we're gonna be using just a little dedicated astro camera, a small telescope like the William Optics Red Cat, or maybe even a camera lens, and then a small tracker like the Star Adventure or Sky Guider Pro. And I think we'll all be surprised just how far we can push that setup. And in fact, a lot of my, well, pretty much all my courses on my website focus on just using a DSLR, a telephoto lens, and a small star tracker. And with that modest setup, you can already capture amazing images. In fact, I just taught a workshop here in Kanab, and one of my students, she's done astrophotography maybe two or three times, but on her first night, she got an image of Orion that's better than anything I've ever done. And that just goes to show you uh, if you have a modest setup, you can still capture amazing photos. And one of the big focuses of this course, again, is keeping it streamlined and simple. And by the end of the, the videos, you'll be able to understand if this is even worth the extra headaches for you. Because with a monochrome camera like this, every single photo you take is going to be in black and white. And you have to do a lot of extra stuff to actually get a color image. You have to spend more money, spend a lot more time. And overall, it's a steep learning curve. So once you make it through the whole course, you'll realize, you know, do I really want to get into this or is a DSLR and a telephoto lens good enough? And I want to stress, I'm just an average guy. You know, I'm not a scientist, I'm not an engineer. I haven't been doing this for 10 years. So I think, hopefully, uh, my insight will be valuable to you as well because I'm going to be going through the same problems that you're going to face if you're just getting your first Astro camera. You know, even just what, what is back focus? How do I space everything that way it focuses with a lens or a telescope. That's something I'm still trying to figure out. And again, there's people that have been doing this a long time. They know their stuff. They've already got YouTube videos. So there's plenty of other content out there, but my focus is gonna be on a lightweight, portable, streamlined system that the average person can use and take anywhere in the world. And one of the most important aspects of this streamlined workflow is gonna be the new ASI Air Pro from ZWO. I actually got really lucky. They contacted me, I guess they had seen my earlier video, and they want me to try this out. So I wanna thank them for that. And I know a lot of people have been asking about this. This is gonna become the brains of the operation. Rather than having a laptop that you have to download two or three different applications and learn all these different user interfaces, with the ASI Air Pro, we can actually plug in now our dedicated Astro camera in here, even a DSLR, and control everything from a smartphone. And that's something I'm really excited about because, again, I want this to be something the average person can do. And having to download all these different applications can be a little bit daunting. But with the ASI Air Pro, we just load up an app on our smartphone, we can quickly do the polar alignment, do the guiding, and then start taking our photos 
And if anything goes wrong, we can just look at our phone, immediately see it, go outside and fix the problem right when it happens. And I think it's gonna be an awesome workflow that we're gonna have. And it's gonna be much easier than the old fashioned way of using, again, two or three different applications and having a laptop and having to go out and check it every so often. So I'm really looking forward to that as well. Finally, I wanna give you an idea of how this course is gonna be structured. If you've already purchased some of my courses on my website, then you know I like to do things very visually, methodically, and thoroughly. Because one of the problems I have, if I'm getting into a new hobby and I'm trying to watch a video on even just how to set something up, if they skip over one little part or don't show it clearly, I can get really confused and spend an hour trying to figure out what little step I missed. So my goal with this course is to show you everything as clearly as possible with a beginner in mind. So like I kind of mentioned earlier, we're going to start off on picking your first Astro camera and then we're going to talk about getting the filters, how to actually install all this, and then set it up and use it in the field. And there's going to be at least 30 videos, if not more. We're going to do one video a week. So this is going to be a pretty big project and it should be on par with all my other courses. And that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. Uh, finally, I do have a Patreon page if you want to help support the channel. You can do five or ten bucks a month. But I want to stress the course is going to be all for free here on YouTube. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. So that's all I got for you today. First video should be out in a week or two. And then at that point, we'll do one video every week. And hopefully by the end of the year, we'll have a very comprehensive course. That way, anybody looking to get more into this hobby will be able to follow along very easily step by step and start capturing their own amazing images of the night sky.